So when you start editing on mobile for the first time in your life, there's three main apps that really comes to mind. The first one is Videostar. Very, very popular for fan cams and celebrity edits. The second one is the one and only Alight Motion. Probably the closest thing you're gonna get to After Effects on PC. Definitely the best choice for experienced editors. There's also these apps, but let's be honest here, nobody really uses them anyway. Which leads us to our last choice, which is obviously CapCut. CapCut is by far the best editing app for beginners. It's very easy, very effective to use. The main screen is super easy to understand. You got an insane amount of effects and there's already preset transitions made for you and also templates. You know, there's a reason why CapCut is one of the most popular apps in the world. It's because it's appealing to beginners. But let's not get carried away here. CapCut doesn't have the best reputation. It doesn't have the best graph system, nor does it have the best 3D camera movement. CapCut doesn't have the same amount of freedom as the other apps. CapCut is mostly known for being a template app. But let's not forget rule number one. Never underestimate CapCut editors. You see, editing is just like sports. The more you practice, the better you're gonna be. There's always gonna be a few players that really breaks the limits. Well, it's the same thing for editing. Let me introduce you to the Mount Rushmore of CapCut editing. The place where CapCut editors can finally prove everyone wrong. As some also like to call it, the CapCut Hall of Fame. Some have obtained an insane amount of followers. Others have obtained an insane amount of skills. From the clean transitions, to the VFX, to the manga animation, or even the complex 3D or the 3D typo. You know, there's a lot of underrated CapCut editors out there. You just gotta find them. It is true that the majority of the community are beginners, but saying that all CapCut editors are bad is a delusional statement. A couple months ago, Capca released a brand new update, pretty much changing the game forever. This update literally turned CapCut into an entire social media app, where you can gain followers, you can follow people, you can send messages, but most importantly, CapCut introduced the templates. You can literally create an entire edit with one click only. CapCut templates as absolutely taking over TikTok, which is not a coincidence because they have literally the same owner, ByteDance. You see, the problem is using templates gets a lot more views than doing actual edits. So what's the point of learning how to edit when you can literally just use a template and get a lot more views? There's multiple accounts on TikTok with millions and millions of followers just from doing templates. So that's why I think templates is slowly killing editing as a whole. One of the biggest advantage of being a CapCut editor is making these type of videos right here. The CapCut vs After Effects comparison videos. These are pretty much remakes of your favorite After Effects edits. These videos get a lot of views. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad, it's gonna get views. I mean, just look at my channel. Every single video that I got have at least 10,000 views. And they're not very good if you ask me. Or look at this dude, he's got almost 50k subs from making these type of videos. So big props. To him so not only are they a very good way to improve as an editor but also to actually grow your channel as well so if you're a small capca creator trying to grow your channel you absolutely need to take advantage of this so after growing your channel for a couple months now, your comment section is going to start looking a bit different. 50% of your comment section are going to be asking for tutorials. And it doesn't matter how many tutorials you give it to them, they're always going to ask for more. That's how it is. The next 40% are going to doubt that you actually edit on CapCut. The next 5% are just going to be bots promoting their channel. And then there's this guy asking what app, even though the answer is literally in the title, the thumbnail, and the description of the video. Like, brother. And then there's this this other guy who's literally under every single comment section ever. I think as a community, we absolutely need to find him a job. Because as you probably know, the greatest antagonist of the editing community is the job application. Nah, but for real, the greatest antagonist of the editing community has to be the storage. Finding storage as an editor is an absolute struggle. Before I started editing, my storage was filled with pictures of me and my family, but now it's literally filled with freaking overlays. And you know you're getting deep into the community when you're subscribed to all these damn Twixter channels. And don't get me started on the audio edits as well, like look at my damn playlist. 300 songs. Can we talk about the editing style? Like, Rotation, VFX, velocity, and um, 
daddy style like why why is it named daddy style i want to know what's up with these editing names like five foot eight six foot two six foot three like what is going on hey but on a serious note i just want to say thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers honestly it means a lot shout out to all of you who've been here since day one y'all know who you are if you want to talk to me on social media here are my socials and i'll see you guys into the next video stay safe y'all